Hey everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours truly. Just want to come back to a stereo sounding, remember this is stereo sounding microphone. Uh, right and left microphones. So I want to talk about this debate. This is a federal debate. Can I, can, can I get a hell yeah? Uh, on the audience out there. Um, a federal debate. Uh, this is not an American debate. American. De if there was an American debate, it would be the Democrats versus the Republicans. Uh, here you get a five-party system. In the States, you get a two-party system uh, in terms of leadership. Um, let me just talk about the Canadian uh, leadership. You get the five-party system. You get the... Uh, uh, there was a Green Party. I was surprised to see them tonight. And uh, you get the O'Toole. You get a Conservative Party. You get the Liberal, who is Justin Trudeau. Right honored Justin Trudeau, I guess they call him Parliament. Um, so, and uh, one, one other thing. The Quebec guy, I don't know the guy's name. Um, uh, he's uh, he's the leader of Quebec. Um who else? Uh, Drew Singh. Now, he's the NDP. Remember that, folks. He's the NDP guy. And uh, I want to say, I want to say for the record, for the record, you got that, guys? For the record. I want to say that this debate came off really good. Well, too, uh, he was he was a guy who you would lay back and let everybody rip off on the uh, on the questions, and that's how I felt. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this with a stereo sounding microphone. Oh, uh, and. Um, I just want to say to you guys, I had a good time watching this debate. It was a very thumbs up kind of a debate. Um, they come off strong. A lot of interruptions. Did I ever? Uh, I'm going to say it again. A lot of interruptions. Uh, no question about it. But it came off really good. Uh, a lot of interruptions at the beginning. I thought they're going to, you know, say something, and then the other person will say something after. Uh, but never, it never really happens that way. You know what I'm saying, folks? It never really happens that way. Someone has to interrupt somebody else. You know, as the old saying goes. Uh, and uh, yeah, that sometimes happens. Debates, debates were pretty good tonight. No question about it. Thumbs up. Uh, they talked about every key points. Uh, climate change. They talked about housing. Yes, about housing, folks. Uh, about housing. One other thing. One other thing that came across to everybody. Uh, now, the platform that O2 had, uh, the recovery plan. He said a recovery plan. Did he get? Now, people, get this. Get this. This is not a written written stone that he's going to do this sort of thing after the COVID nineteen. But that's what he's got a plan. Uh, people have been asking, does O2 have a plan? Well, he just said it tonight. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> he was a laid back kind of guy. He's let all the leaders rip off on what they need to say. Uh, Justin Trudeau, he was a forthright kind of guy. He was a forthright kind of guy, you know. Uh, body language, they always say about body language. Remember those uh, kind of people, the body language thing. He, he, he was uh, he was forthright on his questions. Uh, so everybody came uh, with a different perspective, and I'm going to say this in stereo with stereo microphones. And. Um, and uh, just remember, everybody came off really good. Uh, the housing, remember, oh, don't forget the housing, folks. The housing. Uh, yes, the housing's okay. It's just the kids and people. Um, nothing wrong with the housing. Um, so we're just here, you know, two in the background. You might hear them in the background. But yeah, everybody came off. There were a, little, a lot of interruptions, in case you're wondering, a lot of interruptions. And it was, I, I call it the unnecessary interruptions. You wait till they say something, wait till they say something, and then you can say something after, okay? Wait till they say what they need to say. And uh, and that's what I mean. That's what I mean for all leaders out there. you got to learn how to do that. Because uh, you got to listen first and then speak after, as I would say. Um, and... Uh, so, yeah, the debate tonight was a federal debate. Now, remember, September 20th. Remember, folks, we've got to go to the polls on September 20th. Uh, you don't vote for the leader. You vote for the uh, person in your area, basically. The leaders don't have any choice in the matter, just so you know. Uh, so it's just, it's, just the, uh, it's just the people in your rightful areas you got to vote for. Who's your uh, school trustee? Yes, the school trustees. So uh, this could, could be a little confusing. Just remember, guys. And one one point one one point. Uh, this is a short election. Yes. Did I just tell you it was a short election? It was. Yeah. It, uh, they call it the unnecessary election. Be that it's may, as they always say, uh, it's a short election. And um, and the polls. I, I gotta forget, I gotta tell you guys about the polls. I want to see what happens in the polls numbers. 
Uh, recently, uh, the Conservatives was number one in the polls. That was itching just a bit up there in the number one spot, kicking down uh, liberals down the down the road, basically. Uh, just saying goodbye to them almost. Um, so uh, we'll just see in the poll numbers, and you're just hearing all two in the background. So why am I saying this stuff is because it's a fair election, it's not the American election, two-party system in the United States, here we get a five-party system. Uh, so, or independent, they, there's, there's the independent party, people want to uh, go into the independent party, they could, if they wanted to. There's a third option, as I would say. Yeah, so the independent party, I've heard that so many times in American elections. Uh, and uh, so they're, they're an independent party, and that's kind of like the third party. <laughs> so, so here you got a five-party system. Uh, I'll, I'll give you an analogy. The Quebec Party, um, the Green Party, the Liberal Party, the NDP Party, and who am I forgetting? Um, somebody else. Uh, the NDP Party. So you got a five-party system. Here in Canada, uh, not the two-party system in the United States. Uh, you get the Conservatives and the Democrats, <laughs> time and time again. Uh, if you're thinking about uh, Joe Biden, uh, he's the Democrat. Uh, if you think about um, Donald Trump, he was the. Uh, he, he was basically. Uh, <laughs> I've lost track of mine here. Uh, he was the other guy. He was the opposite of the Democrats. So, there you go, folks. So, Joe Biden, as you see him uh, as President of the United States, he's a Democrat guy. Uh, I don't know if he still is, but you're going to have to ask him. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he has a lot of experience of uh, being uh, a politician, uh, not like Donald Trump. He didn't have zero, zero politician. Yeah. But yeah, he pulled his troops, he pulled the troops in Afghanistan. That's right, folks. You heard it here. Pull the troops out of Afghanistan. Did I say anything besides that? Uh, I don't know if it was good, I don't know if it was wise, but it's a 20 year war thing. Uh, and we went there just to get Afghanistan, uh, uh, Saddam Hussein. He was the guy who did, the, uh, I don't know if he was the mastermind of 9 11, but he was one of them. But uh, there was a, a victory speech in 2003 when they got him. They went into a compound, they got him, and uh, that was a victory speech for everybody around the world. Uh, it was a red letter day. So that's what they were basically there for, to get the guys to the masterminds of 9 11. And that's basically what they were there for. And they didn't want to be any, they don't want to be there much longer than that. Um, it, it really worked, but anyway, I don't want to fall, fall from the tree, you know, apple for, from the tree kind of thing, theory. Uh, so I'm going to stick to the politics right now. Uh, the leaders did great tonight, uh, no question about it. Everybody had their uh, their demeanor and their defaults. And, uh, but I just felt, I just felt that O'Toole was a laid back kind of guy. He was let everybody rip off of the questions. And uh, Justin Trudeau just take his cues from uh, O'Toole here. Uh, so anyway, anyway, I'm not going to tell you what the, what kind of job you guys do, but like I said, folks, this is a uh, this is the federal election, a very short one, indeed, uh, for September 20th. We can laugh about this, uh, and unnecessary election, but it is what it is, folks. Just it, it is what it is. Uh, Justin Trudeau pulled Parliament to get a necessary election. They did it. And the first question they asked out of there is Afghanistan. The first day that Justin Trudeau pulled, uh, well, a Parliament. And the first question uh, that uh, the questions were zoomed at him was, uh, was the Afghanistan questions. And uh, I was surprised. I was very much surprised. And uh, so anyway... I'm going to let you guys go for now. I'm going to say ciao for now. And thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. This is my uh, this is my video, and it will be up there on YouTube. That's right, folks, on YouTube. And uh, hit that like button. Yes, you might have heard of from YouTubers. Hit that like button. Share the videos. Always share the videos from my videos. And hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I know you guys haven't done it, but uh, I'm there along with everybody else on YouTube. 
Um, they all had different platforms. Remember that. They all have different platforms they run on. Uh, whatever videos they want to put up there on their own YouTube channels, that's up to them. Yeah. It can range from uh, paranormal stuff to the uh, to the uh, to poltergeist stuff to uh, the strange unknown, and uh, that's what. Uh, that's basically what videos that people put out there, like the strange, the paranormal stuff, like the ghostly figures to the uh, shadowy per people to uh, what they describe as the paranormal realm, and uh, things that's bump in the night, essentially what your parents would tell you. So, I don't know if that's true or not, but like I said, um, they basically go to a haunted location or abandoned buildings. Uh, so... They always tell people out there, do not go to these kind of places. Uh, they risk their own lives to get content. I kid you not. They risk their get content. And they really do sometimes. Uh, and um, I'm not going to mention any names from YouTubers. Uh, they know who they are. And I, I mean that sincerely. Um, uh, they all do different things on their YouTube channel. I always tell people, hey, this is your YouTube channel. Do whatever, whatever content you want to put on there. It's up to you. It's up to you, whatever content you want to put up there. If it's uh, for politics, for um, things that you appreciate, the stuff that you want to put on there, the content you want to put on there, do so. Do so. It's your platform. It's like any other platform. And uh, just, think, just think to yourself, what do you want to put on your uh, your YouTube channel? Just think what, you want to, what kind of videos you want to put on there. Remember, it's a platform. So you have... Uh, the views, you have the views, you have the uh, subscriber base, you have the likes, the shares, and uh, the viewership, right? Don't forget the viewership. And uh, it doesn't matter if you got a few viewership, uh, the viewers, or you get a thousand viewers. Uh, it's all it's all the same to me. Um, but, you know, it doesn't matter... What it matters is what kind of content you put out is the question. What kind of content you yourself would put out there to the masses. And that bit, but everybody will agree on. You know. So there you go, folks. Uh, and, and sometimes I do appreciate the content that YouTubers do put out. No question about it. I'm not poo pooing it. Um, I always give up. I, I try and watch everybody's YouTube channels and their content they're out there and the uploads that they put up there. And uh, they do put out fresh videos. Sometimes they'll try their best, and I, uh, I don't default them for doing that. Uh, so they try their best to put uh, great content out there. I'm not fault defaulting them at all. Um, so if you create that YouTube channel, put just imagine what kind of content you want you yourself want to put on there. Uh, so bear that in mind, folks. If you create a YouTube channel, think of what content you want to put on there. Is it a politics related? Is it a paranormal related? Is it uh, is it uh, uh, unsolved mysteries kind of a, a channel or or all sorts of things? So just imagine when you create that YouTube channel, don't jump full full steam on your channel. Just think of stuff you want to put on there, uh, you know, and that a lot of people would appreciate what kind of content you put on there. So this member, if you get YouTube channels, <laughs> I praise, uh, and people say, how do you go about your YouTube channels? Just learn it from everybody else. That's all I'm saying. Learn it from everybody else. It's the viewership, it's the it's the subs, as they call us, or subscribers, for a long word. Uh, it's subscriber base. It's people that like your channel, like your YouTube channel, and, and it's free to everybody to watch. It's not, uh, uh, it's not like a pay-per-view thing. Um... Uh, so bear that in mind, YouTube is free to see um, with the uploads and you can call your channel whatever you want to call your channel. And uh, you can have whatever, every platform you want. Remember, it's your platform on YouTube. Whatever content you want to put out there for the viewers. Uh, just say to yourself, what kind of content I want to put on my YouTube channel? Just say that to yourself. So, uh, it doesn't matter if it's politics, polit uh, 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 paranormal, uh, paranormal related, uh, poltergeist, if it's a poltergeist related, this is the unknown, they call it the unknown topic. Yeah, so there you go folks, I'll, I'll let you go now, and uh, I'll see you on the next upload, until then, hit that like button, share the videos, you know what I mean, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll, I'll just say goodnight to everybody. Good night, and I'll see you on the next upload. Until then, ciao for now.